Hi, my name is Sven, I'm from Geeks Life Luxembourg and I'm here today on the LuxCon with Sabrina, who's gonna tell, tell us a bit more about what she's doing here. Um, hi, well, um, I'm an independent artist and um, manga guy from Luxembourg and um, well, I love drawing since I was a child and um, well, I'm now trying to make a living with my art, so I'm publishing mangas and drawing as a <laughs> illustrations um, for well, for myself to share with other people and I'm also animating a manga workshop. Okay, and uh, how long are you doing this now? Um, well, I have, I have published my first book uh, 10 years ago and um, for the workshops I started five years ago and now uh, to try to, do, to make a living with it I'm I have started more like two three years ago. Okay, and uh, where do you get your inspiration for your mangaka? Is it more about the uh, the mangas who are now more on the current, or you have your own ideas for it? Well, uh, usually I have my own ideas for it. Um, it depends. Uh, there are mangas like uh, my Muffin Mac, which is a series of. Um, stupid short stories about love, life, school and so on. Um, that I inspire myself by my friends at school and through real life. And uh, for other stories, for instance, the one I'm currently drawing, it's illustrated fairy tales and um, I'm actually drawing grim and underserved fairy tales in manga version. Okay. But um, how long did you uh, did you uh, do you normally take to draw a manga a whole manga? Um, it depends if I have a deadline or not. <laughs> uh, for instance, uh, if you take Ordalium, it was well, this one. There are 250 pages, and I drew this in six months. But uh, I drew it. Um, it took me around eight to twelve hours a day, every day for six months. Okay. Well, the, in order to set that you ha uh, normally have a deadline, that means you also have a publisher for your for your books. Uh, it depends. Usually, I set the deadlines by myself because I like deadlines and being stressed and everything. <laughs> no, um, well, for this one, it was really with a publisher. So um, usually, I do self-publishing, and I only had one book with a publisher. But uh, since I'm attending various festivals, I also set. I usually set the deadlines for specific festivals where I want to present my books. Okay. Well, uh, you said that you had for at least one book you had a publisher. How did it come that uh, the publisher come to you to ask uh, to uh, get the rights to publish the book, or did you go to them? Well, it started with the second Lipscon. Um, I met uh, the publisher there and uh, I got into contact with them, and uh, we decided to publish that manga actually. Okay. Um, so Actually, the last question I have is how um, how long do you actually take uh, time to uh, train yourself a bit more about drawing, or uh, well, how did it develop so that you that you came up to that point to drawing the mangas? Because normally, when when I try drawing something, it looks like hell, it's <laughs> not nothing at all. Well, I don't know. I have always loved drawing since I was a child, so every time I could, I was doodling and. For instance, when I am at school, uh, I'm taking notes and drawing besides, so well, my teachers are nice enough to let me. <laughs> and um, yes, I think, um, well, I'm not really um, training on specific uh, sketches or so on, but uh, I'm really always trying to put new things into my manga, so new viewpoints, other poses, and uh, I think if you draw every day, that usually makes the niveau go up. Okay, so yeah, well, just la one last question then. Um, are you working on a new book? Yes, it's this one, actually. Yes, I have the various pages, and um, actually it wasn't planned to be a book. Okay. But um, as I said, I am illustrating um, fairy tales by Grimm and Anderson, and I have started publishing it as a webcomic uh, last year okay. um, on the internet for free. And uh, people have started asking me when they will get the book, and it wasn't actually planned, but I'm planning it now. So 
Uh, if everything goes right, but I think not, I would like to have it for Christmas, but since I have other projects for Clarence and so on, I don't think I can manage it in time, but for the next book, it will probably be out. Okay, so that means we are looking for a new book, and uh, yeah, well, that's everything from my side now, so um, th thanks for the interview. Thank you too. And uh, have a nice book, Scott. Thank you.